काफी है What's up everybody, Will here. Today, we're using an unfair rip and slash. As you've seen in several of my other videos, I use this lure quite a bit. So today I'm gonna kinda give you an instruction on how to how to use it. Um, kinda got foggy conditions, so it's gonna be, I can't really do in the water presentation, but I'll talk to you about it. What this is, is a slow suspend twitch bait. So what that means is it slowly sinks, and then you give it twitches and it'll come back up to the surface. It'll flash, turn sideways, and come back up to the surface. So it'll be real erratic going through the water. And that's what you want. It has zero built-in action. Unlike a paddle tail where you reel it and it, the tail moves, this has zero. It just goes straight through the water. So it doesn't attract any fish if you don't give it some twitches. It's also got a loud rattle. All right, that loud rattle also attracts fish. Um, and if you don't give it twitches, you don't get a rattle. So cadence is very important in this. Twitch, pause, twitch, pause. Usually whenever I cast out, I'll give it a you know two or three second pause before I start my retrieve and then it's just a slow retrieve back with the tide uh, cast into the tide the way the tide's moving and then just kind of let it drift back with the tide uh, and give it some twitches along the way whenever you feel a thump set the hook um, this isn't a circle hook so you'll you know you, you'll miss fish it'll happen on the pause whenever you just whenever you just pause the lure it'll be a tap right there and, you know you're gonna miss some fish but you're gonna catch a lot of fish on it too so uh, uh, you know, it's unfair rip and slash. We've caught a few already today. I'm gonna go back out and uh, see if I can catch a few more here. Hope this, uh, hope this video, will, you know, a little bit of instruction on how to use one of these. I wish I had a little bit better condition so I could give an in the water demonstration on how it actually looks in the water. But who knows? Maybe the sun will lift or the fog will lift a little bit later. Uh, but unfair rip and slash 70. This is a pearl tan color. that point where they always are rip and slash doing it when you're working a rip and slash give it some pauses most of the hits come on a pause I'm gonna give it a couple jerks pause a couple jerks pause Cadence matters a lot using suspending baits. You want them to be erratic. And, you know, erratic and jerky, I guess you could say. You don't want it to be just a steady swim motion. It's going to be pause, stops, pauses. Let it sink a little bit. Sitting there on the pause. Not a very big one, but they almost always hit it on the pause. You let it sink for a few seconds before I start my retrieve. With, especially with these suspending baits. Just got a hit right there. Oh! Must be dang bluefish, it just broke me off. There he is. Alright, got him that time. 
I always throw up tide whenever I'm fishing an unfair. I want this thing to kind of drift back with the tide, not going much faster than the tide. I want it to be an injured bait fish. I don't want it to be a lively bait fish. So this is a good lure for that. It just kind of suspends in the mid water column and really the upper water column and uh, sits there. There's one right there, little guy. Last one, maybe. It's all about 15 inches. Hey, if I was sleeping fish, that's what I'm wanting. But I'm not. We're catching releasing today. Just playing around. There's one right there. Yep. Right in that rip. Now, the next issue of the fishing connection I talk about fishing current rips and that's what I'm doing right now is I'm fishing a current rip there's current coming around this oyster bed and there's a stack of trout in there and these unfair lures are about as deadly as it comes when it comes to current rip another one they're just stacked in there stacked in that rip Just got to let that unfair kind of drift back through it. And they will take it. They will take it. Maybe you feel the, feel the pressure or feel the tap set the hook. You'll get them. Position yourself to where you're sitting up into the flow, you know, and it's coming back directly to you if you can. Across the flow is better than against the flow another one sitting in that current rip where they sit at find a school of trout this time of year man especially sitting in a rip like this you're gonna catch several fish in one spot it'll be a lot of fun Another one. Oh, there's one. They're all 15 inches, man. This one's a little bit bigger, 16. There's one. Oh yeah. They're sitting right off the off the transition, off these uh, oyster beds into a little sub-channel here. Um, I know trout, that's one thing that they really key in on is a transition, but that's what they're on today. On these transitions into the main channels off the oyster beds. This 
a little bit better one there. I'm gonna nip this one. There. Oh, let him go away. Well guys, there you have it. Uh, unfair rip and slash, slaying the trout. This is a trout catching lure right here. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite trout lure, but it is in my top three favorite trout lures, for sure. And I don't really care about the color either. You know, this is the color I grabbed. It's, I've, I'm not too particular. I know I like a uh, kind of a natural color usually, but um, if I lose this lure, I tie on a red or I tie on a silver or whatever, you know, I'm still going to catch fish with it. Uh, so color does matter, but cadence matters more. How you work the lure is the most important aspect of it. So take a little bit, you know, uh, off of this and go out and get you an unfair and try it out. Uh, you'll be impressed with how well, uh, how well they work. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out there.